Hello, I'm Paul, and uh, this is the living room of the tiny house. It's got uh, a fold-up uh, pull-up here, and this allows for a, a, a bed here. There's storage beneath it. Um, then you go into the kitchen, there's a full full uh, sink, four burner, 20 inch stove with an oven, a 10 cubic foot refrigerator freezer. The bathroom is a three quarter bath. It has a, a, a regular conventional uh, stool and um, then there's a, a 32 inch shower. And then they also put in an outside shower uh, for the guests. And then the queen size bed, an air mattress, uh, because it's uh, if we want to put a conventional mattress in, we would have to build around it. So this uh, this allows us the uh, freedom to be able to build the house and then put in a, a high high end uh, air mattress. Up above here, there's a, a storage above the uh, kitchen bathroom, and it has access from both the uh, bedroom and the living room here. And then there's also storage um, here. We have a a nice size closet. And then there's storage above the uh, the, back, uh, the door here at uh, the room. This area above um, the back porch um, is storage. Uh, we have a privacy fence uh, gate, so you're 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 kind of you feel like you're you're a little secluded. Uh, the location for our tiny house we're just uh, two miles from the river, so if someone's interested in going down and doing some canoeing or fishing. Uh, that's not that far away and, and uh, we're six miles to Blanchard Springs Caverns and we're about seven miles to town so you can be on the square in 15 minutes. Uh, uh, this gives you the privacy at night, you know, you, you come back after a day in town, you've got, uh, you've got some seclusion and um, the stars to the enjoy, stars at night. mountain top views to enjoy. And uh, we've got the uh, outside shower. It's uh, really invigorating, and and uh, you know at night you're you're there taking in all the view, and uh, it's just a nice place to stay. We're we're real pleased, and and uh, people that do stay here comment on how nice it is, and and uh, we've got. Uh, uh, daily rent for 99 a night, two night minimum, uh, and if you stay a, a week, you pay for six. And for people that are thinking about staying in a tiny house, this gives you the uh, the opportunity to try it and, and uh, the novelty of it. And and uh, for those interested in thinking about maybe buying one uh, uh, to live in, this this shows that it's not just a little little tiny house to live in but you have the uh, area surrounding the home and this is all of Paul's handiwork I mean he's the one that mastered the whole plan did all the work and you can tell by just viewing everything the quality of work that he does uh, he really would like to build another tiny home yes. so if anybody's interested <laughs> Talk to Paul. He would love to build another one, yeah. and he'd be happy to do it for you. The house itself was determined by the size of the trailer I had. I had an 18-foot gooseneck, and uh, you know, if someone's interested in maybe uh, two bedrooms, uh, you know, we can work uh, with you. And, and uh, it's all based on a new trailer. There's there's nothing old about it. It's a brand new trailer, so you're you're set to go.